core problem is we have to do the analysis to find out what is the thing that's true, unavoidable cause and effect leads to the system constraint. If you don't answer this question, what is the core problem or what to change, kiss goodbye system approach. You are bound to deal with undesirable effects directly. What is the chance of really improving the system when you are dealing with the symptom without dealing with the cause? It's not high. Finding the core problem has three different levels in it, if you've noticed. One is, what is the thing that causes all the undesirable effects? Like, for example, when we have analyzed the uh, steel industry, we found out that it's a measurement of ton per hour. That's not enough, because if you stop there, the tendency is very, very high to drift into finger pointing. Why do we have it? Because the boss is an idiot, or because this person is bad, or because the vendor is lousy. For heaven's sake, that's are never the reasons for the core problem. The only thing that can cause the core problem to persist is a conflict. As long as you haven't verbalized the core conflict, you have not answered the question of what is a core problem. And then there is the deeper level, which is which assumption do we make about reality, assumption that cause our impression that a conflict exists. In other words, there must be an erroneous assumption that we make about reality that causes this conflict to exist. This is something that most people are unaware of. Most people totally confused between undesirable effect and core problem. If we are talking about a system approach, we must implant in management and all employees' mind that there are long, solid chains of cause and effect. If we don't succeed to do it, then the only way to manage a company is to take the easy way out. And what is the easy way out? The local impact is a good indicator for the impact on the company as a whole. Why do we do this stupid assumption? Because a replacement for it is to find the cause and effect relationship between the local action and the impact on the organization as a whole. And the chain of cause and effects is not one. It's usually four, five, six, twenty cause and effects until you have bridged from the local impact to the global impact.